What is impermanent loss? Impermanent loss occurs when you provide liquidity to a liquidity pool and the price of your deposited assets change compared to when you deposited them. The larger the change, the bigger the exposure to impermanent loss. Impermanent loss is reversible if the assets return to the original price levels. If the funds are removed from the liquidity pool before they revert to their original price levels, the impermanent loss is realized and becomes permanent. Why does impermanent loss occur? A liquidity pool determines the price of its assets from the assets ratio in the pool. Unlike the traditional exchange, there is no order book to determine the assets prices. Let's look at an example of Alice providing DAI and ETH to a liquidity pool. Suppose that each ETH is $100 and each DAI is $1. Alice deposits 1 ETH and 100 DAI into a liquidity pool. So the total value of her deposit is $200. This gives Alice a 10% share of the pool's liquidity, meaning that the pool contains 10 ETH and 1000 DAI in total. Most liquidity pools adopt an automated market maker model that requires the multiplied product of each coin's supply to remain constant. In this example, the constant is 10,000, 10 ETH times 1,000 DAI. Now imagine that the price of 1 ETH increases from $100 to $400, which is worth 400 DAI. Arbitrage traders will use the pool to swap DAI for ETH until the ratio reflects the current price. In other words, they will use DAI to buy all the ETH that is below $400. While the pool's liquidity constant of 10,000 remains the same, the ratio of the assets changes. Due to the work of traders, there is now 5 ETH and 2,000 DAI in the pool. If Alice withdraws her funds, she's still entitled to her 10% share of the pool. This gives her 0.5 ETH and 200 DAI, totaling $400. Since Alice's initial deposit was worth $200, she made some nice profits. However, if Alice had not provided liquidity to the pool and simply held her 1 ETH and 100 DAI, she would have a total value of $500 instead of $400. In this example, Alice ended up losing on potential profits, so the impermanent loss wasn't that significant. But be careful, impermanent loss can lead to big losses, including a great portion of the initial deposit. Also, note that this example didn't take into account any possible fees gained. Sometimes the earnings generated by providing liquidity are able to compensate for the losses. Managing Impermanent Loss Risk While impermanent loss is always possible with liquidity pools, you can manage and mitigate some of its risks. Investing in liquidity pools with stablecoin pairs is one possible strategy because the volatility of these coins is low by design. A yield aggregator that reinvests your fees and profits can also reduce the impact of impermanent loss. Nevertheless, it's important to realize that impermanent loss happens no matter which direction the price changes. The only thing impermanent loss cares about is the price ratio relative to the time of deposit.